In this video, I want to demonstrate how to install the FancyBox 3 um, jQuery plugin on your website. So FancyBox is a light box. Uh, you can include uh, things like videos. You can include uh, definitely photography, uh, things like this, and do like a gallery. Uh, so it's a really great, responsive, mobile-friendly uh, plugin, if you will. They include links here to a st their style sheet on a CDN, including the JavaScript file that we will need. Uh, so we can definitely utilize that. We're going to be doing this with CodePen, so if you want to follow along, go ahead and open up a fresh new CodePen. And when you do that, the first thing you want to do is pop open the HTML tab and include the style sheet. So where I got this from was if you go to the Fancy Box website, you'll see this link here to the style sheet to the fancy box we're going to copy that entire uh, link there so just copy that and I'll just replace this on my end here good to go and the next thing you need to do is inside the JavaScript tab click on that gear icon I'm going to go ahead and erase these and start from scratch. So you'll have it something like this at the beginning. So go ahead and first add jQuery so we have that good to go. There it is here at the top. Now we just need a link to the JavaScript file. Now we won't need the whole script tag. We just need the link itself. And this is to their CDN. So we should be good to go. So go ahead and copy that as well. Paste that down here. So here's our jQuery library and here's their jQuery plugin for fancy box. Save and close. Uh, so now that we have that good to go, we can start uh, you. Uh, using FancyBox. So they already have an example here how we can uh, work with FancyBox. But what I want to actually do is head on over to the documentation page and start there. So if you click on this setup link here, it'll take you to uh, essentially what we just did now, including the link to the style sheet, the jQuery library, and then the jQuery plugin itself. Uh, scroll on down to the section where it says how to use. I'm going to copy this here. In fact, actually, we're just going to type it out, out ourselves. So a graph. So we want to link to an image. I'm going to use this very large image here. So I'm going to copy that. I'll have a link to this image. Uh, if you want to use it um, as well in the notes below. So copy that down here. Perfect. Okay, so that's the link to the large image. Close that link here. We want to include uh, maybe a thumbnail version of that as well. So you do, you should, it's best practice to actually size this image to specifically what you want it to be. But I'm just going to do this just so we see this as an example. But ideally, if you were including this thumbnail as a width 300 pixels, you should style the smaller version to exactly 300 pixels. So that way you're not loading a large image and having to resize it. Just But for the, for the sake of this demonstration, we'll just go ahead and do that there. Cool. So what we can do is actually, since we have that uh, JavaScript library for uh, FancyBox included, we just need to initialize it. So you can initialize it using the data attribute, but I want to initialize it with jQuery. So let's go ahead and do that here. So what we need to do is target that link and then initialize FancyBox. So let's go ahead and do that. So inside our link, actually, I'm going to in include a class. I call this one Lightbox. Head down to our JavaScript panel. I'm going to do an immediately invoked function here. So that way I can include the dollar sign and use that without interfering with any other plugins. Okay. And go ahead and launch that function down over here. Pass jQuery through it. Perfect. Oops. jQuery. Perfect. This way I can use the dollar sign and not worry about conflicting with any other plugin that might use the dollar sign. Uh, depending on your CMS, there might be some conflict. So this way you sort of protect your code and don't have any issues. Let's go ahead and use the document that ready. This way, what, what this will do is we'll wait for the DOM to load. And once the DOM loads, it'll run whatever function we pass through it. So let's do that as well. So now we want to target that Lightbox link. And let's see here. We go back to the documentation page. You see that they want us to run fancy box method. So let's go ahead and do that here. So if we just go ahead and run this by default, let's see what happens here. So if I click on this link here, there it goes. Perfect. It loads the image in a nice large light box. It's mobile responsive, as you can see here. You can close it. Good to go. Very neat. Uh, you can actually include more than one. So let me copy this here. Let's have three of them. And so what we're going to do here is do a sort of a gallery. So if you go back to their um, uh, documentation page and scroll down. So what I'm looking for here is gallery. So let's go ahead and look for this. So grouping, that's the word you're looking for, grouping. So in our case, we want to have a group. So let's go ahead and do that here. So here's the 
data fancy box group so let's go ahead and use that as well I'm gonna open this up just a bit just so we can see everything so we have let's see we have three links in the first anchor link paste that in it we'll just leave it as group okay so that should be good to go so now when I click on one of these uh, graphics here let me open this up a bit you should be able to just scroll right through there you go you can even play it and it'll be on I guess on an autoplay there it goes you can pause it you can click on this link and see sort of a overview gallery very neat so all we really did is include the the, the library and the link to the, its style sheet and all the stuff just came with it the arrows the buttons you didn't have to include any additional images things like that it's a really great plugin uh, we can also include video as well so let's scroll down to embeddings this is the embedding section uh, it looks like they have a link to a video right over here so let's go ahead and uh, check it out so let's copy that link there so instead of the first image linking to a uh, uh, an image here will actually link this to the video let's go ahead and paste that in here cool and let's click on that and here's our video good to go